hello and welcome to sap learning academy in this video i'm going to start with a day one of sap bwip training so in this video mainly i will start uh, with the basics of ip means why we need ip in a company ip means integrated planning so why we need this in a company and then i will talk about what to start the development in the system and what are the other requirements so uh, let me start with the basics of ip and let me tell you this is the day one video and i'm gonna share more videos in the coming days so please be tuned and listen to me so, uh, so the basics of ip is you know in any company we need planning of data that's called the budget data and we have the actual data which is the sales data and also the managers the uh, the store owners they do planning suppose they do forecasting for their next one year data so how the uh, sales will be happening how the budget so they prepare a budget that's called the budget so that's called the integrated planning so uh, in the sap system we can do the same thing so so that's the basics of ip why you need this planning so this planning can be two types one is top down and bottom up so in the top down if i give you an example like uh, suppose uh, we have a clothing is a uh, clothing is a group material group and now i will plan uh, into various materials like uh, trousers and t-shirt so these are some, these are the materials and i have the clothing as a group so that's called the top down so the top is the it's the kind of a higher to lower so that's called the top down and this opposite is the bottom up approach in most of the companies we follow top down approach so i hope you understood the basics why you need integrated planning so because it, it is just uh, for budgeting purpose and we have to you know every company managers or store owners they do planning on their sales how it's gonna work in the next one year or next month or today so so this ip is very critical part in sap so so now i will discuss on how to start the development in the system and so so there's a t code that's called rs plan so if you go to the t code rs plan you can get this screen so this is the screen of rs plan so you can have the options of info provider then aggregation level then filter planning function and planning sequence so and so the basic these are the basic functions or features of planning you know planning so you have to create here and then you can apply in your query so let's let me as the, this is the first day of this training so i'm just going to tell you only the basics and from the next day onwards i will be discussing more of these functions so uh, let me tell you what is info provider if you are familiar with sap bw then you must know this but anyway so in provider is the container of data that may be you know a cube or dso or adso so uh, mostly in the traditional bw we use uh, cubes for in provider in ip but 7.5 onwards sap release 7.5 onwards we are using adso uh, in the base in provider so so how does it look like so if i if i tell you the structure you know this info provider would be the best for this planning planning sequence yeah now i will come to this but do not confuse between these terms or functions i will come to back later so now what is aggregation label so aggregation label uh, is the fields uh, is the fields which we want to create on info provider 
suppose the input provider can have thousand uh, sorry hundred fields but in the aggregation level i mean if we are creating uh, a planning query or if we, if we need suppose 10 fields so we can extract those 10 fields into the aggregation level then we can work on those levels so next uh, we have the filter so what is filter so filter so once we have the aggregation level ready then we can put filters on those so so the planning will be uh, a more a more you know accurate or as per the requirement then we have the planning function and yeah that that's the important part of planning function if you go and click on create in planning function tab we have different options like formula copy distribution by reference distribution by keys repost and so on so uh, these are the various functions in planning which you want suppose uh, th if i give you an example of copy the so copy planning function it copies the data so suppose uh, you have a requirement to copy the data so just you create the planning function uh, by clicking this and then you have to put some filters and aggregation level so that will vary so i will be coming to those uh, in the in in my next videos so please follow those and now we have the planning sequence and planning sequence uh, is a uh, is a kind of a function uh, which which contains all the planning functions so you can have uh, many functions so how can you sequence it suppose you want to put a copy planning function first and then you can put another planning function and then another so you can make a sequence so in this planning sequence so here also you have to go to and click on create create and then you have to give some description and then you know then you have to click on create so you can have the options of putting the planning functions so this is the basics of you know uh, the planning uh, functions and now what are the other requirement and as i mean of the other requirement means so it means uh, actually i will come to those things in the ne next uh, videos other requirement means uh, now we need to have the back queries and also you know where we can uh, show you those things so this is all about the first day i hope you understood the basics of ip also you have understood the where to start uh, and where to see the development in the system and so so have a nice day and please join in the day two video in the coming soon